The morning sun filtered through the dusty windows of Winston Windrider's workshop, casting a warm glow over the vibrant kites that hung like forgotten dreams. Clara Skye, her heart racing with determination, stepped inside, the scent of varnish and fabric filling her senses. She had spent the night pondering the kite maker's mysterious disappearance, and now she was ready to uncover the truth. The workshop was a kaleidoscope of colors, each kite telling a story of its own. Clara's eyes scanned the room, searching for any clue that might lead her to Winston's whereabouts. The air was thick with mystery, and Clara knew she had to tread carefully. Her first task was to interview Evelyn Marsh, the elderly woman who lived across the street. As she approached the quaint, weathered cottage, the sound of waves crashing against the shore provided a rhythmic backdrop. Clara knocked, and the door creaked open, revealing Evelyn's curious gaze. The investigation was about to begin, and Clara was determined to leave no stone unturned. Clara's first interview took her to the quaint, weathered cottage of Evelyn Marsh. The rhythmic sound of waves crashing against the shore set the scene as Clara knocked on the door. It creaked open to reveal Evelyn's curious gaze, a woman whose eyes held secrets of the past. I saw things, dear, Evelyn began, her voice a whisper, as if sharing a secret. Winston was troubled, you know? He spoke of shadows lurking in the night. Clara leaned in, her notebook poised to capture every word. Did you see anyone unusual near the workshop? She asked. Evelyn's eyes narrowed, her expression thoughtful. A man tall and lean, always watching. Felix Hargrave, I believe. Jealousy can twist a heart. Child. Clara noted the name, her mind racing with possibilities. Felix had been a rival, but could he be involved in Winston's disappearance? The pieces of the puzzle were slowly coming together, and Clara knew she had to follow this lead. She thanked Evelyn and returned to the workshop, her pulse quickening as she examined the cluttered space for more evidence. Back at the workshop, Clara's eyes roamed over the cluttered space, searching for anything that might have been overlooked. Her gaze fell upon a torn piece of fabric, its unique pattern reminiscent of Felix's kites. Carefully, she bagged it, ensuring the chain of evidence remained intact. As she sifted through the remnants of Winston's life, her fingers brushed against something unusual, a hidden note tucked beneath a pile of sketches. The ink was smudged, but the words hinted at a conspiracy that reached beyond the festival. Clara's heart raced. She was on to something significant. The storm clouds gathered outside, mirroring the turmoil brewing within her as she prepared for the next step in her investigation. The evidence was mounting, and Clara's determination only grew stronger. She knew that each clue brought her closer to the truth, and she was ready to face whatever lay ahead. The investigation was far from over, but Clara was resolved to see it through to the end.